Crime ends in a trap that justice sets. Crime does not pay. Thank you for calling. Hello? Yes, hello. Oh, this is Social Security Administration. You are speaking with Michael Sanchez. How may I assist you today? Well, I don't know. I got a voicemail to call this number. That there is some activity on my Social Security number. I, I don't know what they meant. Uh, all right. And do you receive any case number or maybe like any reference ID number, anything along uh, with the phone call? No, nah, I didn't hear one. No, nah, I didn't hear any. All right. All right. Well, let me check into my system and help you out with a situation. Okay. Can you please verify? Yes. Can you please verify your name, sir? Yeah. First name is Barry. B A R R Y. Uh huh. Last name McCockner. M C C O C K N E R. Barry McCockner. All right. Mm-hmm. Please give me one good moment. Let me. Okay. Check into my system. All right. Okay. And you? Thank you for holding the line, sir. Hello? Yeah, hello. All right. Well, sir, the reason you were connected today from our department was to notify you about some legal proceedings, actions going on under your social security number and under your personal details. Uh -uh. So I believe you're in New New York at this point of time. Moravia, New York, yes. All right. That is Moravia, New York. So uh -huh. I will be helping you with a with a case details. Okay. And explain the situation to you. All right. And once I'm done with it, I will be connecting your line to the senior officer, the case that is the concern officer, to fix your appointment at your nearest social office in Mirani, that is Moravia, New York. Moravia, 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 New York. Yes, Moravia, Moravia, New York, for right. the verification. One, three, and to clear one, one, eight. your name. Okay. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to clear out your name from this kind of fraudulent activity. Okay. All right. <clears throat> because there is a red flag a red flag. At this point, yes, at this point What's of time. Well, they are like we received a court order to both under investigation. All right. So mm. yes, before I, before I go ahead and help you with the case details. All right. Please give me one good moment. Okay. Yeah, you can mm. grab grab a piece mm. of mm. paper. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, and a pen. Meanwhile, I pull out the case confidential details. Okay, I got it. All right. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Please I, give I, me one I good moment. My, I got my pen and pepper. Uh-huh. Well, first of all, make a note of my name. Okay. My name is Michael Sanchez. Michael Sanchez. My badge ID number is S S A like Sam Sam Apple. Okay. The num the number seven zero one zero. Okay. That is my batch number. Identification ID number for future reference. Okay. All right. And yes, can you please verify your date of birth? Three sixteen nineteen fifty. That is 3 Yes. All right, thank you. And for the last verification, to make sure that we are not making any mistakes, can you verify the last four digits of your social? 1463. All right, thank you. Now, please make a note of the case number. Sir. Okay. The case ID number will be like DC. Mm -hmm. Like Washington, D.C. Yeah. All right. D.C. two zero two. Okay. One. That is one one seven four. Two zero two one one seven four. Okay. 
that is a case number. Let me read you back one more time. I got it. I got it written down here. You don't have to read it again. All right, all right. That's good. Now, make a note of the warrant number. Like an arrest warrant. warrant. Arrest warrant for who? Right. For the ongoing investigation. Well, who are you going to arrest? For the ongoing investigation, whoever it may be, the criminal. Well, arrest, okay. So, I don't know what I need it for. I'm so, not a criminal. Right. So, the warrant number is P, that is D as in Diker, X as in X ray, D X, 9. Zero nine zero zero one. Okay. That is the warrant number. DX nine zero nine zero zero one. Yes. All right. All right. Perfect. So you now, Mr. Barry McConner. McCackner. No, no, Connor. All right. You said McCackner. McCackner. Barry McCackner. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry for that. Okay. No. Well, a lot of people mispronounce it, so... Uh-huh. So now, uh, let me also remind you that the line on which we're talking, this line is being federally recorded mm -hmm. and monitored by the FBI. Mm. And it's a joint in investigation between the U.S. Marshals, Social Security Administration, and the Drug Enforcement Administration in Washington, wow. D.C. Wow. Yes. It's a lot of people. So it's an area of... Right. So it's okay. an area of these recordings will be kept as a proof of evidence okay. for future reference. Now let me go ahead and explain the situation to you and what exactly is going on under your sources <laughs> which are being framed yeah. against you. Okay. All right. So... At this point of time, you are also one of the prime suspects in an I ongoing you said I investigation. Wasn't. In an ongoing investigation, which has been carried out jointly by the Social Security Administrations, along with the Drug Enforcement Administrations, in the case of drug trafficking and money laundering. Okay. So this investigation started when oh, the U.S. Uh, Marshal... Uh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Hello? Polly, uh -huh. Polly, quiet down. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this investigation started... This investigation started yeah. when the U.S. Marshals, along with the local sheriff department of El Paso... El Paso? The... Right. Texas? Uh-huh, Texas. Okay. They recovered an abandoned vehicle on the south border of Texas, and this car contained some blood and drugs residues. Ooh, okay. That's right. Not and good. for the investigation, uh huh. And for the investigation, revealed that the car, the vehicle, was rented under your name. My name it was well, a rental. I didn't rent vehicle. no car in Texas. I'm in New York. Mm -hmm. I knew that. We understand that, sir. So, this is something wrong which is going on under your social. Yeah, it is. Right. I'm not and, doing it. Yeah. I don't know who it is. Uh -huh. And the vehicle, the rental vehicle, it was a Toyota Corolla, which is a black colored, and it did have an N model with the registration number TX144. Zero. So for the record, have you ever owned a Toyota Corolla within the bus? I've never owned a Toyota. Or junk. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, have you, uh, like, when was the last time you were in Texas, sir? Oh, years ago in the 70s, late 70s, I used to work down there at uh, the pickle factory as the brine tester. All right, and... The city in which the Corolla was recovered, that is 7621 Crescent Avenue, El Paso, Texas. Are no, you familiar with the area? No, the pickle factory was in uh, Houston. All right, thank you. Okay. So this vehicle, the Toyota Corolla, was further raided by the U.S. Marshals. And they recovered, and they recovered around 22 pounds of 
cocaine. Around which is 20. a highly abusive drug. They, did, they didn't weigh it? I'm sorry? None. Go ahead. All right. And they also recovered many financial paperwork mm. and bank statements from many recognized banks. Okay. Like the Wealth Fargo, Sun Trust, Chess, Capital One, U.S. Bank, Bank of America, Federal Credit Union. I know these accounts were used to launder approximately around two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Whoa! I don't have that much money. Uh, uh -huh. And a review of the bank records revealed multiple local and international wire transactions to Colombia, Mexico, and Pakistan. And all these what? bank accounts and what? I, I got, what's all this got to do with me? I don't know anything about what you're talking about. Well, so all these banks and paper works are being opened up and operated under your name inside the state of Texas. But I'm, I didn't open them. I, I don't know anything about them. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. this is, yes. Yes. This is something wrong go, going on under your social which needs to be resolved as okay. much as possible. All right, go ahead. So like, Resolve it, yeah. yeah, can, yeah can you like, what do you see regarding about this drug trafficking and money laundering which is under your name? I say it's not me. Um, have you ever lost your wallet, any of your personal social information within the bus? No. All right. And have you ever been a victim of identity theft? Not that I know of. I don't think you know of you were, right? All right. So now I will be, yeah, I will be connecting your line to the senior officer. Okay. And yes, in DEA department. Before I do that, I will be making a statement and filling out the details and be forwarding to the U.S. Treasury Department. Please give me one good moment. Okay, good moment. Go ahead. All right. So, yes, to make uh -huh. sure that each and every... Oh, yeah, each and everything is good. Okay, I got it. All right. Each and okay. everything is correct. Yes. All right. Yeah. So, your zip code, that is 13118, right? Right. Moravia, New York. All right. Can you uh, confirm your last four digits of your social one more time? One four six three. All right. And your date of birth? Three sixteen nineteen fifty. All right. We're good. Oh. Yes, I'm here, sir. Oh, okay. Please, please give me a moment. Okay. All right. Okay, we done. Yes, I have just fell out. Now I will be need needing to send. More details. Let More details. Later. More details. Okay. So yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, this information about this case, we also ran a detail background check on your past activities. Okay. Um. So far, within the past six months, we don't find any suspicious activities. Oh, not in the last six months. No, it was years ago when I shot the man in Reno. I'm sorry? I shot a man in Reno years ago just to watch him die. But that was no, boy right. in the 70s. Uh-huh. I was a little drunk. You know how it goes. And the guy gave me some shit, so I shot him. All right. And how did you do that? How did you manage to do that? With a gun. Oh. I went to Folsom. Is I was in Folsom. I was in Folsom prison. For no, six right. years um, over it, because he, 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 man, I mean, they thought it was bad that right. I did that. You or the guy you murdered? No, the guy they, no, he got buried, and I went to prison. All right, all right. Yeah, he was not an issue. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Yes, thank you for the information. Okay. So like now, um, I want you to, yes. Okay. Like, uh, according to the background check, we consider this case as a case of drug trafficking and money laundering and that you are, in fact, 
a victim of identity theft. Yes. So I want you to be aware that this matter is extremely time sensitive. Okay. Since these criminals are not yet been apprehended and maybe using your identity even as they speak, we need why, to move. Why don't you apprehend them? And just... yeah, they are not yet apprehended. Well, yeah, but why don't you go look for them? Are you looking for them? We will be apprehending them. Okay. Soon. All right? Yeah, all right. yeah. Uh, yeah. It good. didn't take him long to apprehend uh, me, but this guy just goes about doing all anything he wants. All right. So, at this point of time, yes, we need to make sure that we have to go ahead and safeguard your personal social information, okay. your finances, your real assets, and to make sure we catch the criminals, and we need to make sure that no more transactions should be made under your name from all these fraudulent banks. Okay. So at this point, we have received the court order to suspend your current social security number. Now, and that's what I live on, social security. How can you suspend my social security? And you will be assigned with a new social security number because your current social will be used as a tracking purpose. Tracking purpose, but... So, Yes. What about everything I already got under my old social security number? I got to go around and change everything? Each and everything will be linked to your new social. Automatically? You don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right. The officer, the concern officer will help you with more results and options with information. Okay, good. All right. Because your appointment will be fixed by the day itself at your nearest social office. All right. So, your social will be plugged and you will be assigned with a new social. Okay. And then, okay. all right, once, yes, because yes, here, are we, done? we need to make sure that no more transactions should be made from okay. under your name. Okay, and just send me the new number. I'll be all set. If the criminals are not aware that your social is suspended, they will probably be using it again. And when yeah. you use it, we can able, able to track them. Right. So now do, yeah, before I connect your line to the concern of officer to help you further. Okay. And to, yes, make you understand more right. and okay, yeah. to help us remove your name he from this case. What, yes, what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and make an asset validation form. Okay. Under your name, under your social and under your date of birth. Okay. Which will be forwarded to the U.S. Treasury Department. Okay. So once the things are forwarded, yeah. the uh -huh. U.S. Tre Treasury Department is yeah. the right, yes, at the right department who will undergo ahead and give the final statement for all, for all these kind of things. Okay, good. And okay, good. they will go ahead and yeah. distinguish your, your real assets from the fraudulent ones. Okay. And to make sure that none of the assets recovered from the state of Texas belongs to you. Oh, I have no assets in Texas. That you are just a victim of identity theft. I'm not victim right. of something. Yeah. All right. So I want, so like here, as a federal government employee and as a social security agent, we are not authorized, allow or interested in asking any personal information like your account number, routing number, no pin, no codes. Okay. We are, so basically whatever the questions I will be asking will be just based on the basic knowledge of this case to help you understand more about the case and to help us remove your name from this kind of fraudulent okay. activities. I okay. believe you remove understand, it. Yeah. You understand just remove that. Just my name. All right. So now, yes. Yeah. Please give me one moment. So you told me you have ne never owned a Toyota within the bus, right? I would never own a Toyota, I told you. They're junk. All right. And at this point of time, do you own any vehicles? Yes. And with and how many vehicles do you own? Just one. one. All right. Thank you. And coming to your driver's license, which is an area of the uh, your license, it's an area of your my license. Like your state card, your ID, you have to produce to the office. And coming what to your office? driver's license, 
at the local social office, sir. Oh, okay. And coming to, oh, okay. yes, and coming to your driver's license, what kind of license is it? Is it a class A, B, C, or just a regular T? It's a D and M. All right. And, yes, like, there are, there are several bank accounts which are linked under your name. Yeah, you told me on that. the state of Texas. You told me on that. Yes. So, like, at this point of time, are you banking with any banks? Any financial institute? Yeah, I got one bank. All right. Can you name the bank, please? I thought I wasn't supposed to tell you. I'm sorry? I thought I wasn't supposed to tell you. No, the, these are just some few asset verification forms here. Do, because we are not possible, it's not possible to distinguish your real assets from the fraudulent ones and to make sure that each and every other fake accounts have to be frozen and your real assets will be linked to your new social. And this application will be forwarded to the U.S. Treasury Department. So I will need, I suggest you, you do name the pen to make sure that you are the only user of this particular pen. Teddy bank. All right, thank you. And in this bank, like what kind of account do you hold? Is it the checking or savings or you have put? Both. All right, thank you. And do you also have any credit cards under your name? Yeah. Like with how many credit cards are with One. you? One. Can you name the bank? Teddy bank. All right, thank you. And do you also have any 401k IRA account, any business account? No, I got none of that shit. Under your no, 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 I got none of that shit. Nothing? No. Nope. All right, thank you. And at this point of time, are you physically challenged, or are you retired, or you are working somewhere, your whole job? I'm retired. I'm 71, but I, I am disabled. I got Peroni's disease. And can you walk and drive? I can't drive with Peroni's. You can't drive? Not with Peroni's disease, no. No, I can't steer the oh. wheel with the Peroni. So how will you manage to come down to the office for the verification? Well, I have to have somebody bring me. Someone have to bring you? Well, yeah. All right, all right. Me, my can cousin, you? my cousin could probably bring me. All right, all right. Eddie, can you bring me down to the Fuck you, bitch! No, Fuck no! you! The Social Security office. Fuck! Why, oh boy. I don't know if he'll bring me. All right. What did he, what did he tell you? He swore at me. He's not right. All right. And coming to your did you bang and you're checking like when was the last time you check you check your balance? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. And your did you bang like when was the last time you check your balance? What will be the approximate rough figure? I'm not gonna tell you that. He told me not to tell you none of this stuff. Then you ask me. Like for your checking and savings to make sure that you are only the user. Yeah, I'm the only user. It's in my name. So what will be the rough figure? You don't have to be precise. Like few hundred? Yeah, a few hundred. Thousand? Yeah, a few hundred. And you're checking, right? Yeah. yeah. And what about your savings? A few hundred. All right, thank you. Hey, fuck. The phone number is currently unavailable.